Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about panel maintenance. So two different types of panel maintenance. Panel maintenance that you can do yourself as a homeowner, just some simple steps, and then also if you have to get into a service call for an electrician, we're gonna show you what that's all about. So stick around. So we're just gonna take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our Okay, so the first thing you can do as a homeowner, usually every six months or yearly, to just sort of do some panel maintenance on your home, home panel, is to check to see if there's any burnt wires visually on the outside of the panel. You can also check each wire with, by hand to feel if anything's warm. A warm or a hot wire is usually signs that there's an issue with something going on inside the panel. In addition to that, you can check and this is an important tip. You can check with the back of your hand to feel if your breakers are cool or not. They should be running normally cool or room temperature, but if you feel a warm or a hot breaker, then it's usually a sign that you need to call an electrician. So if you get into a situation where you need to call an electrician, here's what you can expect. The first thing the electrician is gonna do is come and check everything that I just told you. And then in addition to that, they're gonna take the panel cover off. So this you can't do as a homeowner. So once the panel covers the roof, they're going to have a deeper look to see what's going on causing the issue. I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see. So what your electrician will do is usually come in and check the breakers the same way to make sure nothing is warm. They're going to check on the neutral bus to see if there are any burned visual wires that are connected underneath that neutral bus. That's usually a sign that there's a problem or a loose connection inside the panel. They're also going to check the grounds and then on top of that they're going to give a tug on each wire. So each wire should be tight underneath the breaker. If there's a wire that pops out that's usually a sign that something's going on. And then last but not least, they're going to check to make sure that the breakers are actually in position because they can sit loose on these bus bars, which we don't want. If you get a breaker that's tripping, um, usually it's tripping for a reason. So if, it, if, it, uh, if it's warm or it's tripping, then you should naturally shut it off. But if it doesn't want to reset, then you should get into calling an electrician. It's usually going to feel spongy. So there you have it. It's a short and simple video on what you can do for maintenance tips on your electrical panel. And if you also have to get into calling an electrician to come in and actually check the inside. Keep an eye open for these signs. Um, usually, like I said, once a year. If you like this video and you'd like to see more on some of our other videos, check out our channel. Or you can click on this link up here if you're having issues with fuse panels.